To find the number of valence electrons for H2O, that's water, we're going to use the periodic table here with the number of valence electrons written in. So here's how it works. We have hydrogen, and if we look at the periodic table, group 1, all of the elements in group 1 here, here's hydrogen, all of these have one valence electron. Group 2, they have two valence electrons. We skip the transition metals. There's a link in the description if you need to do that. In general, we don't worry about it. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So if you know the groups here, you can figure out the valence electrons. For hydrogen, we have one, and we have two hydrogen atoms. So we'll multiply that by two. Oxygen, group 16, sometimes called 6A. Here's oxygen. It has six valence electrons. One times two is two plus six. That gives us eight total valence electrons for the water molecule, H2O. We could also use this then to write the Lewis structure for water. So we have eight valence electrons. We'll put oxygen in the center. The hydrogens, they always go on the outside of Lewis structures. We have eight total valence electrons for this Lewis structure for water. We'll put two between the atoms. This forms the chemical bond. This is a covalent bond. These are shared. These pairs of electrons are shared. We've used four. We have a total of eight. Put two more on top and underneath. And the oxygen, that has eight valence electrons. That's an octet. That's very stable. The hydrogen, each hydrogen has two, but that's all hydrogen needs. So this is the Lewis structure for H2O, water, because we have those eight valence electrons for the water molecule. This is Dr. B with the number of valence electrons for water and the Lewis structure. Thanks for watching.